Hello guys and welcome to Swiss Now. Today it's me Dan and I've got a Photoshop tutorial for you guys. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to do this um, uh, like rainbow line effect around an object or image. It's pretty simple, it takes around about 3-4 minutes and one, when applied to other images it can it make things really stand out. It's pretty good, there's a lot of tutorials on how to do the images, uh, the line with the pen tool, but there's not a lot on how to do the um, the actual rainbow effect itself, but it's pretty simple, so I thought I'll show you how to do it, guys. Anyway, um, so we'll just get started. So I'll give you the link for this image if you want to use it. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. So you just want to create a new layer and come to your pencil, and you're going to want to drag lines out of there. You want to drag lines around. Uh, and I'm just going to keep it to the contours of my body. Like, like that. I don't know what happened here actually. I'll come back a bit because I did a bit of a mistake. Again, this <laughs> at a really awkward angle. Uh, trying to get it just right. Okay, so that, that's right for me, really. It's alright. So now I'm just going to bring up our brush tool by hitting B or going to the brush tool itself. And we want a faded brush and around about 11 pixels. You can just check I didn't like that drawing the line. Um, so now I'm just going to draw my, do my colours. Uh, well, no. Now, oh, getting ahead of myself. Um, go back to the stroke tool, create a new layer, obviously. Just make all these lines. And then we're just going to go stroke path, brush, simulate pressure, OK. Um, mine's just made it solid colour because I had a solid colour selected. But um, now we're going to do our colour overlay. Uh, so just create a new layer. Uh, get the brush tool blow up a bit. And then just sort of draw. So rather, uh, sort of draw over the top, like so, and you can be as messy as you want, it doesn't really matter at all, I'm just going to do that, uh, I'm going to show you, oh, I have a pink, And the yellow, like that. Like I said, you can use messy as you want because all you're going to do now is hold Alt and come in between two layers, and you'll get a little drop down arrow with a box, and that's the overlay. So now you're, that's overlaid onto the image. We're going to want to go to, uh, you know this. You're going to want to do a layer style so you can merge these two layers if you want by uh, pressing Ctrl, selecting them both, and then pressing Ctrl E. Uh, that merges them, or right click and merge them. Now we'll go to Outer Glow and we'll set this to white, make it normal, passive 50%, bump this up to around 7 8. Up to you, might drop the opacity a little more. We just want a nice contrast, and I'll bump up that. Um, that should do it. Oh, you can also do an inner glow if you want to. I would just suggest setting that to white, leaving it a screen. Maybe turning that down to about like three and the opacity to about like sixty. A bit less maybe. So, I'm gonna drop this to eight, seven, six. I added. Um, now we can just 
get the rubber tool and come here and we can just make this flow so it looks a lot nicer. Uh, so I'm gonna rub okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna rub um this bit. So zoom in, hold it all and then just use the scroll mouse or the scroll button. Okay, I'm actually going to find it a lot easier if I take off the last stuff first. Like that, take off the last stuff. Uh, it'll be a lot easier to rub these lines out and wash them flat after. Like that. Uh, I'll keep them going along her body like that. Um, Just seeing another point to get rid of the line. I'll get rid of one here. You have to excuse the random noise here, I'm not really sure what the hell is going on. Probably some pressing Ctrl Z instead of Ctrl Z. Oh yeah guys, if you didn't know, if you press Ctrl Z you can undo more than one action. A lot of people don't know that, but yeah. Anyway, we'll just add this layer style. I probably should have copied it before, but it won't take long. Put that on. Uh, overlay, white, 50%, probably. 6, I think it was. Go up to 45. In a glow, uh, look at a screen. You probably said it's overlay. Yeah, overlay looks better. Uh, 60% and set this to 3. Okay, so that's basically it. For some reason, on this one here, the um, the lines didn't actually uh, um, it did not what's the word? It did not simulate the pressure. I'm not sure why, but if you check check simulate pressure, they should do this where they fade out, which looks it gives it a much nicer effect. Um, I don't know why I didn't do it on this one, but anyway. Thanks for watching guys, it's a pretty simple tutorial, should have only been around about 4 5 minutes anyway. Bye guys, I'll make sure you subscribe and, or whatever or like, uh, like this video if you actually like the image or anything like that.